Hi guys, it's me, Piccolo. You're watching DM Gaming. You can follow him on all these social media platforms. He's even on Facebook at DM Gaming 06. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon so you don't miss a single upload. Now it's time to get serious. My new game, Dragon Ball Z A Yoshi? Seriously, Goku? It's okay, Piccolo. I'll take it from here. Hi guys, it's me, Gohan. You can check out me at Piccolo's new game coming out in early 2020. Dragon Ball Z. Dad. What is good, YouTube? DM here with DM Gaming, guys. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this. I really am, man. I'm hoping y'all liking the intros and stuff to the video. Today, guys, I want to talk about BP or Battle Power for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Um, yesterday, there was an image that went through the slides, and this is what we're going to discuss today. Um, I talked about BP, and I was... BP, first of all, is placed right above the health bar. Okay, so I was thinking that BP and health were one and the same. Guys, I have no clue why I did not see the number to the right of BP. Now, there is a video where I talked about um, Legend of the Super Saiyan. I'm going to link that video down below. Also, um, it'll be at the end of the video as well where they suggest the videos and I'm going to put a card should be popping up right now above it to that video as well. Because if you watch that video, I talk about Legend of the Super Saiyan um, and how in that game you had what they call BP or battle power. Now in the game, I didn't call it battle power. I can't remember what I called it, but it wasn't battle power. But that's what it stands for, battle power. It's essentially your power level. That's basically what it is. And in that game, guys, you had a power level, and if your power level was stronger than your opponent's, if it, was, if it was significantly stronger, it couldn't just be like a couple of numbers over. It had to be significantly stronger. For instance, if I was fighting someone and their power level was 100 and mine was 1,000, it's a pretty high chance that they wouldn't do any damage to me at all. Not only that, but when they attack me, my character wouldn't even flinch or anything. It's really, really cool because it looks just like Dragon Ball Z. Like, for instance, when Krillin punched Cell in the face, Cell didn't even flinch. Like, it's just like that, and it's really cool. So, um, I'm thankful that you guys uh, corrected me on this yesterday because um, I, I just, I, I completely missed it. I really did. I'm not going to lie. Um, and I'm trying to find, because I told him I was going to give him a shout out in this video for him being the main one that corrected me on that. A Blaze Dawn. So shout out to you because he was the first one that corrected me on this. Um, he said, sorry, bro, the BP isn't your health. Goku from the beginning of the Raditz Saga in this game had around 6K or something like that in health, but a BP of around 324 around there. Your health is the green number under the green bar. And I told him, you're right, thanks. I don't know how I didn't see the number beside BP. That changes a lot and will open up a discussion on it. Thanks. Expect a shout out for this. So I'm giving him a shout out. A blaze, Don. Appreciate you. You more than him did tell me about this, but he was the first one. So, so guys, this is super exciting. First of all, I apologize for being wrong. Um, that's very important to me because especially being on YouTube, you want to be credible. If you're not credible, then people won't take you serious. So I apologize for that. I missed that because yesterday we was just doing a bunch of slides and I knew I wanted to come back to this. But I still miss that important detail. So now that I see that, guys, this explains what I was talking about in that previous video so much more. Not, not yesterday's video, but the video about Legend of the Super Saiyan, which, like I said, I'll link. I'll probably put a link up for it. Guys, I don't know if y'all understand. I don't know if they had BP and Legacy of Goku. I'm not sure. But in Legend of the Super Saiyan, like I said, you actually had a power level. And your power level... Your power level determined your strength. Now, there are some differences here in this game compared to Legend of the Super Saiyan because here you actually have key, um, key attack, melee attack. You have key defense and melee defense. So if you look right under, I'm going to uh, zoom this image in here so we could get a even closer look here. Um, try to focus that in on Goku really quick because this is this is really what we want to focus on. Not so much, uh, not so much the the other stuff because that's just items. But this is what we want to focus on here. So 
Goku, if you look here, he has um he has some items right there. He, he has level first of all, he's level 11. And then if you look right underneath that, you have his BP, of course. And um what's important about that Underneath his BP, you have his actual health. Now, to the right of BP is his battle power or his power level. It's his power level. Because we know if you go watch the gameplay, whenever Raditz was sensing Goku and Piccolo, he was like, "There's a, I'm sensing a power level of 322, and I believe it was 334, if I'm not mistaken. Goku was actually level 4 in that, and Piccolo was level 5. However, Goku's battle power was higher than Piccolo's. This is also true in the game Legend of the Super Saiyan because, uh, for instance, if Goku and Krillin, I've maxed out the characters in that game and both of them were maxed out and Goku's power level, his base, his battle power was way higher than Krillin's. Now, in that video, I call it base power. I don't know why, but it's battle power. Anyway, Goku's power level at the same level, both of them was level 99, Goku's was still significantly higher. This is why I'm so happy that this is just a single player game, because with this being a single player game, like the lady told us in the video, you don't have to worry about balancing. So Goku and Krillin may be the same level um, player level, but their power levels, their strength levels are significantly different, vastly different. And you can't do that in a multiplayer game because otherwise everybody would just play with the strongest characters. But with this being a single player game, they can make this true to the anime. And that's how Dragon Ball Z Legend of the Super Saiyan was. Even down to the training with Piccolo, you know, with Gohan. And I referenced that game so much because in my opinion, it's a closer reference to this game than Dragon Ball Z Legend um, Legacy of Goku. Because um, with Legend of the Super Saiyan, it came out first. That's so, I mean, first dibs. The only difference was it was a turn-based game, whereas this one is a uh action rpg both of them were still the same with the bp though now where it, the differences come in is right underneath bp you have the bar then you have his number that is his health now the meal effect that goku is eating is giving a plus 22 percent so the first number that you see underneath the health bar that's where you're at right now the arrow is showing where you will be if you um consume that meal that's the plus 22 percent now underneath that also this meal that goku is eating is giving him a increase to his um his it looks like his um that's probably either melee attack or key attack i'm thinking it's melee attack and key attack is at the bottom could be vice versa but it's giving him a 25 or, or it's giving him a percentage boost to that also and then underneath that is his uh key key attack and I don't know what the bottom one is, but then to the right of that is uh, underneath the battle power, right? If you go back to battle power, the BP, to the right of that is his power level. Underneath that is his stamina, and which is also his key, you know, it's, it's his key slash stamina. Underneath that is where the two blue ones underneath that, 230 and 230, is where you have his key defense and his melee defense. Now, consuming this meal, is increasing those to whatever degree. And this is where the difference comes in between this and Legend of the Super Saiyan. Whereas in Legend of the Super Saiyan, you had key, but your key was your stamina bar. So where it says the 149 for his stamina, that's also his key or whatever. That's what you use to do attacks. If I perform a super attack or something like that, it's going to take away from my key. Now, my question comes, how does battle power play a role in this game? And I'm hoping, my fingers are crossed, and I'm actually thinking, if what I'm thinking is correct, they're going to take away from Legend of the Super Saiyan where your battle power is essentially the how strong you are. And then your key attack and your melee attack are essentially, um, let's say, boost in a sense. So you could have a high battle power, but your key attack it's it's kind of like a modifier in a sense let's use that word for lack of a better term um because also you see his key defense and his um melee defense look at those things as modifiers those are reminiscent to rpg games you look at destiny take perfect example it's an mmorpg 
you have a light level. Your light level determines uh, not only the activities that you could do, but it's that way because if you have a too low light level, then the enemies are going to one shot you. And if your light level is well above them, then, of course, you'll do better against them. But aside from that, you have gear and your gear has modifiers. For instance, your resistance uh, may be higher so you could take more damage. You're, you may have a super modifier, mobility mo modifier that makes you faster or makes you gain your super faster or resilience modifier, you know, things like that that make you take less damage. And this is similar to that. So your battle power, if and I'm speculating here because they haven't revealed this, but if it's what I speculate, your battle power is basically your core strength, how strong your character is, how much damage he deals, also how much damage he's able to take. Um, that that's what your battle power is. It's your power level. It's kind of like an accumulation of everything. Now your key attack and your melee attack, you can level those up, but those are essentially modifiers determining based off your power level, how much extra damage your key attacks will do and your melee attacks will do vice versa. Same thing for your key defense and your melee defense, your power level, you have a battle power where you know you can you can receive so much damage but then you have key defense and melee defense are sort of modifiers to say that you can withstand more even more kind of like uh look at it as kind of going beyond your power level in a sense that if for lack of a better term but if they put this in the game if, if it's like that in the game i'm gonna tell you something you guys are going to flip back crap crazy for this, you are going to love it. Now, my biggest question is how are you able to raise your battle power? In Legend of the Super Saiyan, you raised your power level or your BP by leveling up. You know, anytime you would fight, you would level up, your battle power would go up, you would become stronger. This game, I am super curious to hope, fingers crossed, that when you train, that raises your battle power. That, that, in my opinion, should be what training is for, raising your battle power. So hopefully it's not only just tied to your level, but it's also tied to you training. And here's how I want to lay this out. Your level, Goku being level 11. OK, so say I'm level 11. OK, me being level 11, I'm going to have a max that I'm going to be able to reach on that particular level. So, for example, Level 11, let's say right now Goku's base battle power is at 5,809. But me being level 11, I have a ceiling max of, say, 6,000. So that means by me being level 11, the highest I can get my battle power up to is, say, 6,000. In order to get it higher, I have to reach level 12. And also, there should, I think there should be a cap, like, say, level 11. There should also be a cap for my health. My key attack, my melee attack, everything, everything should be capped. And in order to get higher, you need to raise your level. However, you know, I, I don't at the same time, I don't like that because when you're playing with the other characters, that means that they can reach that same level. So in a way, I kind of hope that it's open. I hope that the level determines what activities you're able to do. Now, I know that's not true because when you look at the gameplay, when he battled against Aider. He took that side quest from Aider. It said the recommended level was level three, meaning enemies in that you're going to engage in in that particular side quest, they are going to be level three. And that means that they're going to be at a certain strength level that you can't reach at maybe say level one. OK, so that's why I say that's possibly how that's going to work out. You'll be able to raise your battle power. You'll be able to raise your health, your key attack, your key defense. You're going to be able to raise all those things, but only to a certain level. And in order to raise them higher, you have to level up. Regardless, if they do it that way, like I said, I hope you're able to train. Because if you go back and watch the gameplay, you'll, be, you'll see that Goku and Piccolo, Piccolo was actually a higher level than Goku, but his battle power was lower. So that makes it necessary to actually train that way you could be a high character level but if you don't train your battle power level is going to be low that's why i hope that training is what increases your battle power because you already have things in the game that's going to increase your health 
eating and doing those drinks. So eating and doing the drinks will increase your health permanently, your key attack, your melee attack. It also will increase your stamina, also increases your uh, your key defense and your melee defense. All that is done, and I'm going to zoom back out here. All of that is done from consuming um all of those things are done from consuming the different meals and stuff that are in the game. So like you see here, um, cooking and you see the icons to the top. If you go to the drink icon, it's going to be like the Vita drinks. The bag is going to be other things like the individual items that you use to make these meals like onions, carrots and things like that. So all of those things are put in place to already. So you already have something in the game to increase your health, your key attack, your melee attack, your key defense your melee defense and your stamina. So in my opinion, training should be the sole way aside from leveling up or let's say this training should be the sole way to increase your battle power. Because when you level up, it's going to essentially give you a new limit to reach. And so you're going to have to train to get, get to your maximum battle power. I don't think that eating or just leveling up should be the only thing to increase your battle power. And with them putting training in the game, if they're putting this much detail into having to eat, I'm going to go ahead and speculate that they're going to put the same level of detail into training to where you have to train to raise your battle power. If this is the case and if it works like Legend of the Super Saiyan, guys, this game is going to be legendary. Once again, because if you're facing off against an opponent and their battle power is significantly lower than yours, y'all, you are not going to take damage. You're going to take very minimum, if not any damage. And if you're stronger, you're going to overpower them. Guys, you are going to love this game. Trust me, if they do it that way, Cyber Connect 2, Bandai Namco, if y'all listening, do it that way. Like you did in Legend of the Super Saiyan, Bandai Namco, which I don't know if Bandai Namco was over that game or not, but I digress. Anyway, do it like that, and people will love this game. It's a single-player game, so nobody's going to complain about being OP. Now, the biggest issue with that is people are going to say, well, if your character is super strong, then the bosses are just going to be walkthroughs. Not necessarily because the boss mechanics... There are mechanics in the boss fights that put you at a disadvantage. Also, the, they could easily make it to where the bosses scale to your power level, which would be cool as well. So, guys, I'm sorry for such a long video. There's just so much to discuss with this game. So much more stuff coming to light and so much more things that we have yet to talk about. So let me know what you think about battle power at the end, at the bottom, in the comment section down below, guys. I appreciate you if you stuck through this long. Till next time, y'all. Thanks for watching. Peace.